welcome back to my channel ooh, 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 ooh. today's video is going to be the collaboration of the elf chipotle collection um they came out with this i think it's march 9th or 10th it's still pretty recent it's out now um but when i first saw that this collection was coming out i thought to myself i love makeup and i love chipotle so let's put it together in a video and make a video so i hope you guys enjoy review style videos like this if you want to see more let me know in the comments whatever you want to see just let me know and without further ado let's get into the video <laughs> So let's get started. I do have my Chipotle right here that I will be eating because I'm hungry. <laughs> and it's good. And I'm hungry. I got a salad and a side of chips. I usually get tacos, but the taco be soggy, so it's kind of like my way of doing like a deconstructed taco type thing. I just get the chips and I eat it with, I get a salad and I eat it together and that's my taco. So <laughs> that is what I am eating and it's really good. Alright, let me stop eating. Stop getting to this video. Okay, so, excuse me, I'm still eating. <laughs> so this collection comes with a eyeshadow palette. And it says Elf X Chipotle right here on the front, which I think is really cool. This is what the palette looks like when you open it up. The protective seal is still on it. Um, I just like opened my Elf package. Um, so the seal is still on it. I haven't touched it. I haven't swatched any of the colors yet. As you can see, the package is still on it. So yeah, that's what the palette looks like. It also comes with a lip gloss. This is the packaging of the lip gloss, which is a really, really nice color. I think it's super cute. So we're gonna get into that. It also comes with this super cute, I think this is like the cutest thing ever. It's an avocado sponge set. Excuse me. A beauty set. This is what it looks like. It comes with two sponges, like a really, really small one, which is like the brown one, and then the avocado one, which I think is really cute. It's the Extra Guac Face Sponge Duo is the name of it. This collection also features a bag, but um, when I went on the website to purchase everything i wasn't too crazy about the bag and i just wanted to focus on just the products of this collection the makeup products of this collection but i already did apply my foundation i just wanted something super light just to put on but i'm going to be using the sponge to apply my concealer i just took this thing out of the packaging and it is super soft like i wish you guys could feel it <laughs> but it is super soft once i'm first touching it i am going to go run it under some water just to see if it'll expand or not if, if it'll be even more soft but from first impressions this thing is really really soft okay so i just ran the sponge underneath some water and it did expand it's even you can hear it there's water still in there <laughs> but it did expand and this thing is super soft i can already tell that i'm gonna love this sponge like if this thing is mad soft well, probably one of the softest sponges that i own so i'm loving this sponge but i'm going to use it to apply my concealer and i'll be right back
I wanted to see how the little sponge would work. I did run it under some water as well and it did expand, but I can already tell this is like great to get in those like small areas. So, so far these sponges are like a 10 out of 10. I wish you guys could feel them honestly right now, but <laughs> It's getting into this area, as you can see, like it's really, really getting into these small areas. So I really like this little one too. And this one is also soft. It's not as soft as the green one, but it's also soft. Okay, so I used the sponge to set my concealer. I know I'm looking real cray cray right now. But I use a sponge to set my concealer and this is where we are so far. So we're going to move on to the eyes. So when I first saw this palette, I already knew the direction that I wanted to go in. These greens right here, you see the section right here? Was calling my name. So I am going to be using the greens in this palette because that is what was speaking to me but one thing that i do want to point out this plastic that was wrapped on the palette like i don't know if you're supposed to take the whole thing off like i don't know but i don't like that when you take this plastic off like you can't really see the names it's just like a blank like it's you, you can't really it's just blank like you can't there's no names on here or anything like that so i do wish that they would have printed the names on here and not just on the plastic because now i gotta like read the plastic to try to figure out what name is which but the names definitely should have been on that plastic on not on the plastic it should definitely be on the palette so i just wanted to point that out okay so for my eyes i'm going to be taking the color pinto beans and using that as my transition shade and i'm also using that color to give me the winged out shape that i want and then i'm going to be taking the shade lettuce and using that underneath pinto beans and also on top of it to give me the smokiness that i want in my eye socket and I'm also going to be using the shade Lettuce on my eyelids as well as kind of like a base for the shade that I'm going to be putting on top. So for the lid color, I'm taking the shade Guac and I was really surprised and was loving this color. I didn't use a setting spray, I didn't wet my finger, I just used it straight from the pan and put it on my eyes and it looked really wet and foily. I was really loving this color. This is a bomb color. So I'm going to go back into that lettuce shade just to blend out that Guac color. And I'm also going to be using the lettuce shade on my bat bottom, excuse me, lash line as well. And I'm going to use pinto beans on top to smoke it out. And that's the eyes. I just added some mascara to my eyebrows just to brush them up. I just wanted something really natural. But I've been going back and forth with myself whether I should put on lashes or not because I like this look a lot without lashes. But for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna put the lashes on, whatever. <laughs> While I'm waiting for my lashes to dry, what I'm really mad about is that this collection does not come with a blush. Like, if there was like a hot orange terracotta color in a blush yo that would be so bomb but since this collection doesn't have a blush i'm going to use this orange color right here as a blush let me find out what the name of it is i think it's hot salsa yeah so i'm going to take hot salsa and i'm just going to use on my brush tap up the excess and use that on the apples of my cheeks
lashes are on and on to the lips. So since this is a lip gloss, I'm going to see how it wears on its own just so you guys can see the opaqueness of it. But I can already tell I'm probably going to want to put a lipstick underneath this. But I'm going to see how it applies on its own. Okay. So look at what this lip gloss. Look, look at the color it is, right? And like this color is nowhere on my lips i guess this is just like a plumping gloss it does say plumping on it and my lips do feel like like and it also smells like um like hot tamales that's what it smells like but there's no pigment in this gloss so i'm kind of disappointed about that because i thought it would at least be this color really like hot fiery red and i thought it would be that color but it's not it's just a clear gloss but i'm going to wipe this off and apply a lip color and then put this on top and be right back okay so i applied the lip color um i am going to put the gloss back on top looking at it off camera you do see like and i mean like this much like you see that much hint of the color but from how it looked in the tube i thought it would have been way more pigmented than what it was but it's honestly like you could barely see the hints of color it's honestly just a regular clear gloss at this point so I'm just gonna put it on and then show you guys how it looks get to my final thoughts i did leave some things out i did use the shade pinto beans i think it's called pinto beans yeah the shade pinto beans i did use that to contour my face and i really like that shade actually as a contour i'm all about multi using products and different things like that so i did use that shade all over my face and i did also use corn salsa in the inner tear duct and i really like that shade in the inner tear duct as well so yeah okay you guys so here is my final thoughts i think the collection is absolutely amazing i think it is fun for elf and chipotle to collab on this i loved all of the products that i have tried if i had to choose one it would probably have to go between the palette and the sponges. Those were my absolute favorite. The palette was great. The shimmers were bomb. I didn't add setting spray. I didn't add water. I didn't add anything on my fingers. I just picked it up on my finger and put it on my eye and it looks like this. So I think it was absolutely amazing. The mattes were great. They weren't patchy. They weren't difficult to apply on. They blended out smoothly. They were smooth. They were creamy. No issues with the palette whatsoever. The only thing that I was really disappointed about in this video was the gloss. Like, if you see the gloss in person, it looks like a hot, like, let me give an ex let me try to think of an example. Like, it looks like Mac Lady Danger in a lip gloss. Like, it's really, really, it looks like it would be really, really pigmented, but it was just clear. Like, it, when I did go off of camera, I saw a hint of the red, but it pretty much was just clear. So that was the only thing that I was disappointed about. I wish they would have added 
more pigment in the gloss to give you a more fiery hot tamale color type red but that was the only thing for me that was disappointing was the gloss what was also disappointing was that there wasn't no blush like if there was a cream blush that would have just set it off like that really would have set it off if there was a blush but there wasn't a blush so yeah that's pretty much it i really love how the look came out this is the look Ooh. And yeah, that is my final thoughts on the e.l.f. Chipotle collection. Also, I'm not sure if I mentioned this or not, but if, when you purchase the palette, you do get free chips and guac from Chipotle. So be sure to head over to Chipotle and get your free chips and guacamole because who wouldn't want free stuff? I love free stuff. I don't even like guacamole, but I'm probably going to get it because it's free. So... <laughs> that is it for me today guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know how you like this look in the comments down below let me know if you purchased the chipotle elf collection do you like it do you not like it let me know let me know if you will be purchasing it after watching my video but yeah that is it today guys hope you guys enjoyed today's video make sure you like comment and subscribe and I will see y'all in the next video. Push. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah.